we can start to sort these guys out a little bit and find them. Here we have a stonefly right here. This is a small stonefly. And it's probably one of the stoneflies that we see hatching on the stream today. There's about three different sizes that we're seeing from that larger one that I showed you first off this morning all the way to, to small guys like this. Uh, I have some of the typical stages of uh, caddis fly that you might find along the stream and, and aid your fishing by recognizing these different stages. Uh, here's an adult caddis that is typical of the average caddis you might find pretty much anywhere in the U.S. And they live in vegetation areas and eat the vegetation. We have clinging mayfly nymphs, which are designed to cling to rocks in very fast water. Uh, we have swimming mayfly nymphs. Okay, another one of the insects that we find very commonly in still water situations and slower flowing weedy streams are damselflies. And they're very, very prolific. We find lots of them and they're a prime of prime interest to the fly angler because uh, the trout see them frequently and we have lots of opportunities to fish with these. Now this is an underwater form that we'd be fishing. Our scuds and leeches. And we'll talk about the scuds first. Now so far the insects we've spoken about, talked about and looked at are insects that go through a growth life cycle and hatch into a winged insect. These are some of the things that we're going to talk about in our introduction to aquatic entomology. We're going to go over some of the basic life cycles and uh, of the common uh, aquatic insects that you may run into on a trout stream anywhere in the United States. Uh, mayflies, caddisflies, and stoneflies.